All right, you're listening to WCW Teleco playing live today. That song called Calamity featuring us, Dick Stiglitz. Thank you. That's a cool tune. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate man. Um, let's, you want to just go around the room and introduce yourselves or introduce each other or however you want to do this? Who's yeah. in the band? Uh, well, I'm Greg Stiglitz, Stig Stiglitz. Everybody calls me Stig. So that, Bass and vocals? Yeah. Me. I want to, and I want, hang on. Um, I like when you play the harmonica because you're playing the biggest instrument you can play and also the littlest yeah, instrument. And the smallest you can, one, too. Yeah. Um, my, we, we were playing a gig recently and the brace that I used, the harmonica brace, broke and <laughs> it shut everything down. It was like that little piece of metal, like. You know, that's 16 bucks, you know, it just shut everything down. I couldn't play harmonic anymore. So oh, <laughs> it's a very, uh, I feel like the, the brace is almost as important as the harmonic itself. So. <laughs> yeah. But um, to over here uh, from Blacksburg, Virginia is Anya Hinkle. Yeah. <laughs> on, on guitar a lot, uh, much more guitar playing and less fiddle playing these days or what's? Yeah. Um, in this band, I'm playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Were, were you always a guitar player? Is that always? Um, well, in our previous project, I play the fiddle. Yeah. Um, so I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> when, do you write on a guitar? I was just curious. You know, I was oh yeah. Thinking, yeah. I you know I played guitar you know in high school. I okay. kind of went over to guitar and um, I had a wonderful teacher down on the North Fork of the New River. I used to drive down there just to decompress from high school and. Uh, sure. And I, that's where I fell in love, my, my first love, Norman Blake. And I uh, used to really just love listening to his music and um, playing guitar. Um, but I, I didn't touch it for a long, long time and I was really focused on fiddle more. Um, so it's, it's fun for me to come back and um, jump in there on guitar and, mm. and uh, make, try to make that work. Yeah. <laughs> so, so some fiddle tunes uh, scattered through the, the repertoire, too. Well, one, um, one real lucky thing is that Jed plays some claw hammer banjo right. and um I spent um, some time kind of in the Southwest Virginia area going to all the fiddlers conventions and learned a lot of the old time music um, from some of the folks up there. And so it's been a chance for us to kind of just sit on the porch and learn some of those tunes and try to pull that groove in um, to some extent. So uh, we're still working that in here and there, um, which is kind of a fun way to do the fiddle, which is a little different than what I had been doing fiddle-wise um, anyway. So, yeah, just growing and changing and learning. It, it's <laughs> interesting because no matter how much I listen to you, the band as it changes and your music and the new music, I, I, I always at the core it just sounds like really like old-time mountain music. That really <laughs> seems like it's still the backbone of it. So, mm. yeah. And uh, over there on the mandolin is Jed Willis. Um, Hi, Jed. Me and... Uh, me and Jed have been, well, I, think, I guess we were only in one, one band over the years. We were called the High Town Strutters back about oh, yeah. 10 or 12 years ago. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're glad he was joining us on mandolin. And, yeah. um, and as he, mentioned a little bit about Clawhammer banjo, too. Yes, and Clawhammer banjo and anything else he decides to play. Right. <laughs> he has a... He has a, 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 a Mixed bag of electric instruments as well, so we haven't gotten to that yet. I was going to say, you plug it in tomorrow night? <laughs> uh, maybe. Sure. We're, sure. we're thinking about but Aaron Aaron's thinking about plugging in. But. Anya will have a Stratocaster. And <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to get Anya a Stratocaster. But, <laughs> but um, and Aaron, uh, Aaron Balance on the Dobro over there from Winston-Salem, he's tearing it up and... I always mm -hmm. love Aaron's playing. Um, <laughs> I saw you caught your set at Leaf. You were playing some guitar, too, weren't you? Yeah. yeah I played <laughs> guitar with my first instrument. So it's been fun delving into the old-time material, too. Uh -huh. It gives me a chance to pull out the guitar. So Nice. Yeah. He's been working on some new uh, strumming styles yeah, that go I back have. to Yeah, I play with, <laughs> well, I play with I, finger picks. I, I was going <laughs> to haze you about this because I watched you play the guitar at that set at Leaf, and I was like, man, he plays guitar like he thinks it's a dobro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I used to be able to operate a flat pick, you know, and then I, I started playing dobro about 12 years ago, and then it seemed like my right hand, I could never, like, reacclimate to a flat pick. So, mm -hmm. so now... You know, I'm just stuck with these things. You, you, you do everything with those, right? You just walk around with those picks on your fingers all your yeah. life. <laughs> I know. If they get on there and they're not slipping, you know, I don't <laughs> want to lose that, that moment with them because sometimes they get, they get slippery on you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And our fifth member today is Mr. John Stickley. Yeah. You might know from his project, the John Stickley Trio. <laughs> I, I, um, I, John, how old is that guitar? That guitar, I love to look at your guitar. It's got so much 
travel on it. It's a 1956, is it? the 18. Uh, you've been playing it since it was made, is that right? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, but uh, every now and then, like, we're watching Mad Men, and they'll say the year, like, 1963, and I'll be like, hey, man, my guitar was, had been around for eight years at that point. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just young. <laughs> cool. So um, I'm curious, uh, you produced the record. What was it like? Give, give me the producer's insight into Teleco. Well, it was really fun because uh, the project was fairly new, and you guys were kind of all still getting used to each other and the material, and it... It was really fun, but kind of interesting um, having, you know, we've got Anya plays guitar and fiddle and Jed plays claw hammer and mandolin. So there's all these different elements that we tied into the songs. And uh, it's kind of fun to pick the instrumentation out for each song and then hone that instrumentation in and the arrangements to, uh, you know, make the songs kind of come to life and happen. And it was really fun, you know. Of course, I broke up a bunch of fights during uh, the rehearsals and all that stuff too. It's a good thing too. Cause, it, yeah. the, the record uh, <laughs> feels very like one take ish, kind of like not a lot of messing around with it. That's another thing we we talked about, you know, how we were gonna go about practically, you know, actually recording this stuff technically, and of all the different approaches, uh, we just we kind of took it song by song and. Um, a lot of it was done live, but some other tracks we took a little more care with and did some layering. But uh, for the most part, we really tried to capture a spontaneous live feel. Nice. Yeah. Well, like I say, I love the record. It's called Relics and Roses. Uh, we're going to get another song, but I was, you guys, you're, you're your own bosses, right? I guess you designed the, the CD and all that kind of stuff. Mm, well, mm. we we, um, we had some, some help on this one. We have a, a good friend, um, Howell. Who? Uh, what's Howell's last name? Golson. Howell Golson is a fiddle student who uh, happens to be a fantastic designer. So mm. he's been helping us with our work and um, did a real nice job for us on that. So, so. So I was just going to describe it. There's a, um, I guess it's a bluebird um, on a fence post, and looks like is it sunset or sunrise that we're looking into, or does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> twilight. It's twilight. It's definitely <laughs> a, a transition, but it's a very. It, it feels like a very uh, peaceful and. Uplifting. I don't know if that's what you're going for. It, <laughs> it, we, we already had that picture when we were trying to name the album. And, uh -huh. like, we, we, for some reason, you know, we, we'd, we'd pass over this name or that name, and then we'd come to, we came to, like, a really good name a couple of times, and, but it might have been, like, a little dark or something, and then we go, okay, well, that's the name of the album. And then we go look at that picture and say, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you could see the, uh, the artwork we're talking about, I'm sure, at the website. Which is Teleco Band? Telecoband.com. Cool. <laughs>